My name is Brother Kenneth Nebue. Welcome to the place of warning and forewarning. The question we're asking today is, why did Jesus say, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation? Why did Apostle Paul warn and said, let he that thinketh he is standard take heed, lest he fall? Please stay till the end of this video. We will begin the discussion after this moment. A songwriter says, another year is dawning. Dear Father, let it be in walking or in waiting. And Jesus is warning, as you are walking with him this year, as you are waiting for him this year, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The Lord is saying, as you are walking with him this year, don't forget that the church is under siege. As you are harvesting with him this year, don't walk with your eyes closed. Someone beyond you is trailing you. Someone older than you are is trailing you. Watch and pray is the warning that you enter not into temptation. But is it not unfortunate that the Lord can give warning and someone brushes the warning aside? Is it not unfortunate that somebody can raise self-confidence above the word and warning of the Savior. Watch that position where God has made you a worker, a leader, a preacher, and overseer. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Peter was a leader in the church, but he wept bitterly because he exalted his self-confidence above the word of the Savior. Your self-confidence is rising day by day above the word of the Savior. In the presence of your husband, you picked the call and said, My husband is not around. Woman leader, watch. Watch over your self-confidence. In the presence of your pastor, you picked the call and said, Pastor is on the pulpit. Watch. Any that sin is a living sin. Watch. Your testimony has been that you were a foundation member of the church. The many years you've been following the law. Judas Iscariot was a foundation member of the church. Christ laid the foundation and died for. He followed Christ from the beginning of his ministry. Judas Iscariot was with Jesus. But little by little, he allowed Satan to enter his thought. And little by little, Satan took total control of his heart. Judas Iscariot was a leader in the church. He held a prominent position in the church. Yet, Satan entered him and killed him. Jesus is saying, watch. Someone your natural strength cannot overcome is trailing you. Someone, your own power and human energy cannot conquer, is trailing you. When Jesus called the rest of his disciples and said, All ye shall be offended because of me tonight. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Peter was quick to answer the Lord. Though all men be offended because of thee, yet... Will I never be offended? Peter raised his confidence above the warning of the Lord. Like Peter, the other disciples said also to Jesus, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. But at Gethsemane, where Jesus brought them to pray, so that they will be able to overcome the temptation that is about to taste and try their faith. But the disciples had all gone to sleep. Awake from your slumber, church, awake. You are under siege, church, awake. The whole world has gathered against you, church, awake. Nobody knows 
what this year is holding for the believers in Christ. Nobody knows what this month is holding for the believers in Christ. Nobody knows what tonight is holding for the believers in Christ. You are yet carnal. You are busy speaking in tongues. Why the life of Christ is clearly missing in your life. Like the Corinthian church, they were busy speaking in tongues while they were living in sin. The Corinthian church were busy speaking in tongues while wicked sins were hiding in their hearts. They were busy speaking in tongues while their marriages were falling apart. Awake! The church is under siege. What is coming against the church is bigger than you are. Jesus is away and promised that he's coming to take the church away. Therefore, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Though you said you are a Christian and you are saying like believers in Christ, rapture is coming, rapture is coming, but you will be left behind. Because you are yet carnal. A defiling sin is hiding in your heart. Malice is a defiling sin. Malice is a sin that hides in many believers. Malice is a desire to see misfortune befall another person. Malice is an evidence that the root and stump of sin is yet in your life. Malice is anger resting in the bosom of fools. You are quiet, but there is malice in the heart. You are smiling, but there is malice in the heart. You are appearing innocent and friendly, but there is malice in the heart. Watch! Malice is the sin that will stop you when the saints will be called up yonder unless you repent today. Though you said you are a Christian, and you are talking like a Christian, but you may be left behind because you are yet carnal. A defiling sin is hiding in your heart. Hypocrisy is a defiling sin. Hypocrisy is a sin that hides in many believers. It is a sin of pretense, a sin of false appearance. It is a sin that is presenting oneself to be holy or good Contrary to the reality, you are a hypocrite when you make high compliments which you do not believe. You are a hypocrite when you make promises which you never intend to perform. Hypocrisy is a pretend friendship when mischief lies in the heart. Your hypocrisy will surely stop you when the saints will be called up yonder to meet with Jesus unless you repent today. Though you said you are a Christian, and you are dressing like a Christian, but you will be left behind because you are yet carnal. A defiling sin is hiding in your heart. Evil speaking is a defiling sin. It is a sin that hides in many believers. It is a sin of the tongue. It is a slander, a gossip, a backbiting, and lying. Evil speaking is a cursing and abusive language. Evil speaking is a sign that malice and guile hide in the heart. The evil speaking on your tongue today will surely stop you when the saints will be called up yonder to meet with Jesus, unless you repent today. Though you said you are a Christian, and indeed you are singing the praise of Jesus every day, but the Bible says, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Knowing this truth, and you are yet carnal, waxing more and more in your laws, in your fornication, adultery, and lying. Spending and spending to satisfy the flesh that will be called down tomorrow by the sword while your soul is weeping. Jesus is saying, wash and pray that you enter not into temptation. Jesus is saying, look around you. 
evaluate everything that is coming your way. What is the engine behind the noise all over the world? Who is the personality behind the event happening now all over the world? Who is the person motivating these workers of iniquity? Who is the person instigating these workers of iniquity? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. My name is Brother Kenneth Nebue. I thank you for the time you spend to listen to this message. If the Lord has in any way spoken to you in this forewarning message, please leave your testimonial comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be first to know when we upload a new video. Please tap on the red subscribe button. Also tap on the bell that will appear from the subscribe button to turn on notification. That is how you will know when we upload a new video. I want you to know also that we have set aside every Friday to fast and pray for your salvation. That God will grant you a decisive grace to repent and forsake your sin because it is end time. If you are a backslider, we will be praying also that God will restore your name back into the book of life. To you believers in Christ, I ask that you remember us in your prayers. God bless you.